An Army Green Beret the Pentagon says is from Sierra Vista is killed in Afghanistan. But it turns out his ties to southern Arizona are not that strong. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley in tonight for Valerie Cavazos. Sergeant First Class Ryan Savard died yesterday in Kanabad District, Afghanistan from small arms fire while on patrol during combat operations. In making the announcement, the Pentagon listed his hometown as Sierra Vista. Nine in your sides, Alexis Fernandez is live in the newsroom with more on this. Well, Guy, the family was surprised by that. They tell Nye on your side he grew up in Jefferson, New Hampshire, went to school there, and has been stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, for the past several years. According to the Department of Defense, Sergeant First Class Ryan James Savard died on Saturday in Afghanistan from small arms fire while on patrol during combat operations. Savard was a Green Beret who served 10 years in the Army, including four tours in Afghanistan, according to his family. We spoke to his older brother, Jed Savard, by phone, who said his brother was expected to return home this month. The last he saw his family was back in May when they took a trip to Washington, D.C. He was beyond my brother. He was just, he was somebody that I wish more people were like, you know. He, he was just a very genuine person who had nothing bad about him. I don't know how, you, know, how you can characterize that, but it was, he, he was just the kind of person I wish I was. Here's the Arizona connection. His family told us he attended his senior year of high school in Sierra Vista. It was there where he met his wife, Kayla, and it was also where he entered the Army. He and his wife did not have any children. Guy. Alexis, do we know whether his body has been transported back to the U.S.? Well, Guy, his brother told us his body was expected to be back in Delaware by this evening. His parents are there right now waiting, and his final resting place will be in Arlington Cemetery. Alexis.